So welcome to my page. My name is Shannon and this is day three of our yoga series. Today is a really awesome topic. Maybe for some, maybe some. You might think I'm all nuts or too much information. Whatever is a fact of life today is about sex. We probably all want a little bit more of it. Maybe we want to be a little bit better. Whatever your jam. Today we're talking about yoga poses to increase your sex life and make it a little bit more banging. <laughs> no pun intended. I don't know if any of you guys really put the two and two together, but yoga is a really mind body experience just like sex. And there are a few little certain techniques and poses that can strengthen your sex life and have a better intimate connection with your partner. So as we talked about yesterday, yoga is a great stress reliever, but not only is it a great stress reliever, it also, when doing the right poses, opens up your heart, increases flexibility, increases your blood flow, and those are all important aspects of also <laughs> implementing it into your bedroom. Probably one of the most important things that yoga teaches us is to really stay mindful and be in the moment. And I know for girls, well speaking for my experience and I'm sure a lot of other ladies, perhaps even men, um, that we're not always in the present moment when we're doing the deed. We may be thinking that we look fat in certain positions or what's the other person thinking? So really the mindfulness when we learn in yoga, we really want to transfer it to all areas of our life and that is including, <laughs> how many times have I said it? <laughs> including our sex life. And really the goal is for us to be totally mindful while we're in the bedroom with our partner not worrying about any other aspect, just being in the moment and enjoying what we're doing. So yoga is super awesome to also practice with the partner. Maybe I'll do a few videos on acro yoga because those are super fun as well. But if your partner isn't into yoga, that's totally okay. You can make yourself better because change starts with yourself anyways, right? So feel free to add these moves into your regular fitness workout routine if you're more fitness based than yoga. These are really great stretches and moves to do. So one thing I wanna stress before we go into these moves here that help with that is you wanna think a mula banda. What the heck is that? Just think of it, it's a diamond. Okay, so this diamond is all the way down at your base. Where's my base? <laughs> right there. So think of those muscles, people also call them kegels. Think of it if you got a hold in your pee. Sounds a little funny, but squeeze right there. So it's actually a diamond and you've got four points. So your two sit bones and then your frontal bone and then your tailbone. If that makes sense, just put it right there. Okay, so while you're doing these moves, you wanna make sure, yes, you're squeezing your middle bundle or pretending that you're holding your pee in. Squeeze, 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 so you'll hold your core tight and it'll also engage those pelvic muscles too, which strengthen for you know what. Okay, so just keep that in mind while we're doing these moves and enjoy. Okay, so we're gonna place those hands right underneath our shoulders to begin. Biceps glued to ribs, those elbows back legs nice and long and bringing those feet to touch ankles glued together thighs glued together core engaged and again squeezing through our mula bandha here as we inhale lift chest up to sky and exhale it down <clears throat> we're going to do this a few more times so as you inhale keep that belly on the mat but the chest lifts and exhale release variation is also to put those forearms down on the mat and just hold your gaze up to sky pressing into those hands from here if you'd like you can also come into your upward dog so from here you want to press all the way up onto your hands lifting your thighs off your mat and pointing your toes bringing the tops of your feet onto the mat so you're gazing up to sky chest is open and again you're squeezing those thighs together squeezing your mula bandha just like you are holding your pee in and holding here for a few more deep breaths 
Coming into our next pose here, guys, we're gonna come into a tabletop position. So those shoulders are stacked over our wrists, our knees are hip width apart, and our toes are tucked. And again, from here, engaging our Mula Bandha or those Kegel muscles. On our inhale, we're gonna engage the core, bring shoulders up to sky, back arched, and as we exhale, bring it into the opposite direction, gaze up to sky, belly to mat, sit bones up. I'm doing this a few more times, so with every inhale, arching like a Halloween cat, lifting shoulders out of the spine, and exhaling to the opposite direction. One of my favorite poses coming up next here, guys. So you wanna make sure you've prepped this pose before coming into your bridge for a few deep breaths. After that, when you're ready, engaging your core, lifting those legs up straight to sky. Again, engaging that Mula Bandha, engaging your core, just breathing here, looking up at your feet. Please do not look around the room because you don't wanna compromise that neck. Coming down into plow now, nice, slow and controlled. You're gonna take one foot down in front of your head, all the way down to the mat. Once one foot is on the ground, you can then place the other foot down nice and slowly. Once both feet are on the mat, then you can release those hands from your back if you'd like, you don't have to. A little bit more relaxing is to release the hands though and to just breathe here. This pose is super therapeutic. It stretches the shoulders and neck, calms the mind. It also reduces cellulite too, so that's awesome one for the ladies. And it stimulates our thyroid as well. So coming back onto our back, you're gonna place one hand and then the other on your lower back and from here the trick is you want to roll out nice slow and controlled one vertebrae at a time not super fast coming out of this pose and making sure your feet are the very last to touch the mat this is a super fun little stretch that you guys can do anywhere so you want to bring the soles of feet together and the knees out to the left and right our sit bones are down on our mat and again in our mula bandha, thinking of our diamond, all four points are down on the mat. You can also take that option to fold those feet out like a book. Inhale, straighten your back, and as you exhale, hinging at the hips, dropping the crown of your head and just falling forward. All right, guys, that's it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that little sex session. I'm no sexual expert, not yet anyways, but I hope you liked those moves. We had chest openers that opened up the heart to feel more intimate with your partner. We had groin exercises to help you have a better range of motion and just open up the hips. And of course, we had those Kegel exercises as well. The same muscles that go off while you orgasm. Anyways, maybe too much information, but I hope you guys had a great experience. If you have any questions, feel free to drop comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see next, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much.